Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. This is a real quickie. Some of you have started walking with the Lord. You, you got deliverance here. You got freedom there. You're doing really, really good. You're getting victory in so many areas of your life. Then you start feeling like you don't need help anymore. You feel like you don't need to, to run to the church as much because you, you pretty much got it going on, don't you? You're feeling strong. You're smelling yourself. You're feeling your oats. You're feeling muscles build up in your body. And you're like, hey, I'm a bad mama jamma. In the name of Jesus. Right. And then Satan starts slithering up on you. Because you have separated yourself from your connections with the body of Christ. And now you're isolated. You're alone. Because you think you got it going on. And Satan's like, that's right, baby. You don't need all that. You got it together now. And you're like, yeah, I do. I think I'm a bad man with Java. <laughs> I'm looking good, too. Mm-hmm. Ding! And you're so caught up in how wonderful you look and how wonderfully you're doing and everything is going great. And then Satan is lining up. And he's waiting to strike. Because you're so caught up in your wonderment and how beautiful you, you've done. And oh, I mean, you've made such progress. And oh, you're just so proud of yourself. You're breaking your arm, patting yourself on the back. I know you're happy with me, Lord. Ooh. And you know what? You ain't got nobody around you to pray for you. You're not seeking advice. You're not seeking connection. You're not seeking Christian fellowship. Because you've got it going on. And that is when you are at your most vulnerable time. That's why the Bible says, Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together with believers. Because when you isolate yourself, it works just like nature. You see the herd of buffalo, the herd of gazelles, and they're all together, and their strength is in their numbers, their strength is in their unity, their togetherness. They, they, they rally around each other, and they, they are each other's protection. But then you get some little ding-a-ling, and he, ooh, what's that? Ooh, that looks like fun. And everybody else is together, but they're over there. And you're over here by yourself. And you're just all caught up in all the little all the little distractions and all the little tentilating things that draw your attention and pull on your desires. And Satan's like, that's right, come on. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. And you, ooh, 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 pow, gotcha. And now you're locked into a groove that you can't quite get out of. And what was a tentilating moment ends up being a stronghold. And now you're crying because you're feeling guilty because you, you've done some stuff now you know you had no business doing because now you're falling into Satan's little trap. You're right where he wanted you to be, alone, unprotected. Because you thought you were all that and a bag of chips. And you're still a baby wearing diapers. But you're too grown to recognize it. And you're right there sitting around, playing around Satan's trap. And he is just waiting to strike. Because when he bites down on you, baby, you're not going to be able to let go. Not without the help of other believers. And there's a scripture that says, Confess your faults one to another. And pray one for another that ye might be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. 
But you ain't around the righteous. No, you hanging on your own because you all that in a bag of chips. Mm -hmm. And now you're a vulnerable piece of meat for the devil to chomp on. Because you are isolated. Watch that. That's my warning to you. Watch that. Don't get too happy with yourself now. Right when you think you have a right. The Bible says, Ye that, that think you stand, take heed lest ye fall. 